It's time for a Riley upgrade. For some reason, I've been recruited to try on a exoskeleton from Hypershell. It's the Hypershell Pro X. And actually it kind of makes sense because I am the person in the office who probably does the least amount of physical activity. Uh, so this is perfect for me. It's supposed to make you stronger while using less effort, uh, increasing endurance, mostly in the legs. If I have to do anything with the arms, I, you know, that's, that's, a, different, that's a different thing. But this is uh, going to help with my running with cycling, all the things that I don't do. So thanks to Hypershell for sponsoring this video so that I can become a better version of myself. Maybe. But in order to actually upgrade myself, first I have to take it out of the box. So let's see what's in here. Ooh. Nice. Okay, so it the, the exoskeleton folds into sort of a like gaming laptop sized uh, form here, which is pretty nice. And it's actually not too heavy. Apparently it's 1.8 kilograms, which is about four pounds. Oh, wow, and it just kind of unfolds like that. I can imagine myself in there. I can imagine what it's going to do to me. <laughs> okay, here we have one of the two batteries. I believe the other one's already installed in there that will provide 800 watts of power to the Hypershell E-Assist system. Uh, that's going to make me a better human being. In the bottom here, okay, user manual. There's instructions that I'm sure are important. And then right here, there's a USB charging cable so you can recharge the batteries after you plug them in. And that is it for the case. So let's look at the exoskeleton itself. So we've got the kind of waste part here with some padding on it. And then these leg attachments that rotate like that. We have here, there's a USB-C port and directly under that is the battery and it comes off like that. And then to swap it out and reload. Boom. Oh, that felt good. You can reload yourself with this. We got these clips here on the back that I'm guessing are used for adjustments of some kind. We'll figure that out when I put it on my butt. And on the right side here is the control button, which you're gonna use to enable and disable the assistance and switch between the various modes, which we will look at after we download the app as this special little thing told me to do. And I always do what I'm told. <laughs> so. Oh, I didn't even notice this before. There are washing instructions on here. So I guess you can just throw this whole thing in the and don't do that. Um, apparently there are screws here. Can you see those? So you can unscrew the fabric part and then do not throw it in the washing machine. It says wipe to clean dry flat. So it's still not, but you know, you never know until you try. So don't do it. Okay, so I've downloaded the app. I've logged in and now it's asking me to put in my body index to evaluate my suitability for this product and recommend the leg pole adjustment position. Okay, so I'm gonna put my data in here. Okay, so according to my measurements, it says that I should adjust the hip levers to position three. Oh, there we go, okay. Tighten hip climbs, buckle up hip belt. Okay, well, it's happening, we're putting it on. Hey, we're doing it. Buckle up the hip belt. Okay, I think I gotta loosen these. Okay, I already feel like I'm kind of in a sci-fi situation where I'm like, I've been contracted to, to work the asteroid mines and they have to put on your equipment to, except it's not like that at all. I'm just gonna exercise. <laughs> okay, so that goes there. Loosen a bit and then tighten or put that back in, clip it. Okay, yep. Wow, I already feel the power. It's not on. The placebo effect is gonna be an issue for me. You could have got, you could have got somebody who's more used to moving their physical body around in space to do this and they'd be already done the video by now. Okay, I think I'm strapped in properly. This feels good. I don't feel weird. I mean, it's a little unusual. Ready? Hypershell, activate. Okay, I did. Whoa, whoa, I just did something. Something just happened. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like reacting to my movements. This is, this is what happened last time. 
it's already kind of like following my movements. Like when I move my leg, it kind of wants to continue the motion a little bit. What I'm gonna do here is move my leg back and forth twice. Any other, anything that happens after that is assisted. See, like it's, it's, I can stop it, but I can also let it control me. <laughs> Search my device, do it. Searching nearby devices, there it is. And no one else has a hyper shell? Okay, I'm in eco mode now and it's telling me to walk. Take a stroll in a safe area to feel the power adjusted to your pace. I feel it. I feel it, it's moving my legs. So that was eco mode and now you can single click the control button to enter transparent mode, which makes it sound like a noise canceling headphones mode where it just kind of like pauses the active function, which is what it's doing. So it's just gonna kind of like turn off the assistance. And now I'm in transparent mode. Yeah, it's all me, this is all me. I'm still very much myself. And when I activate it, that's gonna be upgraded, Riley. All right, now it's telling me to go into hyper mode. Press and hold for two seconds. The red LED means we're in hyper mode, baby. Pew, pew, pew. Providing dynamic power for intense activities. All right, whoa, yeah, that's stronger. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, yeah, <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, we're moving. Oh, I could do anything now. I could do any sport. It kind of keeps moving for a second. You see that? It's alive. Within eco and hyper mode, there are various power levels. So I'm in eco mode right now, but if I double click, it goes up to another power level again and again, so now I'm on f the fourth power level of eco mode, which is, okay, yeah, that's pretty strong. Cause I was only on power level number one of hyper mode. Oh my gosh, I don't even wanna know. Let's go into hyper mode. Oh, and I'm, okay, so it keeps the power level between the modes. So this should be, this should be very strong. Whoa, yeah, oh yeah. Oh my goodness, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can run. I could run across country. I could do anything. I could do anything. All right, okay. Oh, you wanna go back down? You want less power? Triple click to go down a level. There we go. You know what? I'm gonna keep it at power level two on eco mode for now because eco mode will have the best trade-off between battery and performance. Okay, so to power off, you have to double click and hold and then we're off. Okay. All right, I feel like I'm kind of getting the hang of this, so I'm gonna, just gonna take this for a little rip. I'm gonna just run that way and run back, and I'll report my findings. Are you ready? Oh, yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I should run normally. I was like running on my tiptoes. I don't think you're in the right mode. I'm in eco mode. I can feel it. It's helping me. Okay, so for comparison, I'm in transparent mode now. There's no power. I'll just see what this feels like. Whoa. Oof. Okay, so that's that's funny. That's funny because when I ran in eco mode with it powered on, it felt like I was just running normally and I was like, this is fine, this is okay. And then running just now, I was like, why am I so weak? Like, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking, I was kind of like, what? It's like I forgot how to run for a second. So now I'm gonna power it on and become myself again. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. That's, you know, honestly, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little weird. It's, it's easier to run with this. And maybe it's because when I'm running with it powered off, I have this thing on me, but again, you know, it's not very heavy. It just feels like I'm wearing a fanny pack backwards, you know, the cool way. One more time on that circuit in power in a hyper mode. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that feels good. So the Pro X is able to kind of keep up with my movements because it has this AI based motion engine in it. So it's kind of got some models of how people walk and it's adapting to how you move to kind of like predict your next move. I'm gonna move my leg up 
and then it kind of keeps moving for a second after I stop moving because it's like, yeah, humans don't do weird stuff like this. This doesn't, it's not what they do. So you can have it automatically kind of adapt to what you're doing or you can enable a specific mode in the app. There are separate modes for walking, going up hills, upstairs, grab all these other things, or you can just set that to auto. Uh, and it'll, you know, that, that's preferable rather than opening your app every two seconds, depending on whether you're going up or downstairs. But for this purpose, I'm going to enable upstairs mode just to see. Wow, okay. This is, <laughs> I feel like that was, it's, look at this thing wanting to move. <laughs> See, but like even when I stop moving, it's kind of like, are you sure you want to stop moving though? You could get even more healthy than you are. Okay, activate downstairs mode. Oh, this is experimental though, so watch out. Hypershell says that this can give me up to a 40% boost in leg strength, up to a 30% reduction in physical exertion, and offset 30 kilos, which is about 60 pounds or so, of weight. Um, so I do actually feel like I'm light as a feather right now. This is kind of interesting. Till it kind of like activate the most power, you have to do a big motion. And then it'll start moving. But then if I just do little moments, little movements, it'll just be like, oh, you're just wiggling. It's not here to help you wiggle. Even though that seems to be my primary thing that I want to do with it. You want to race? Yeah. yeah. Quick note, while you're just walking normally, you probably want to not be in max power mode because it is wanting me to walk like this. Ready? <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> ah, no! I haven't run. <laughs> I haven't run in so long. I feel like you, you had a better start. One more time, one more time. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, I was closer. Do you see that? I kept up with him that time. You just have a better, you have better acceleration. Oh, what? You guys drove to the other labs building? I just ran and it was no problem in a little bit of rain because this thing has IP54 dust and water resistance. So it can handle that no problem. Okay, so let's just. Now Hypershell says the Pro X can handle a temperature range of 60 degrees Celsius to negative 20 degrees Celsius. So it was a little cold outside. This thing would have been fine, but I would not have been. I wanted to come inside to see whether the logistics team needs any help, you know, lifting things because I'm so strong now. So, you know, headquarters thought that you guys could use a little bit more muscle uh, to move stuff around. So they, you know, brought me in to kind of see whether you got any heavy stuff that needs uh, kicking or. Oh, you can kick those. It's play sand. I'm gonna go max power. Is that okay, Alex? Yeah, Just careful though. I have to warm up, see? Now it's now it's helping me. That was actually I think it helped. <laughs> so this is gonna help this is helping you? I'm helping? Yeah, yeah, if you if you get it out of here, you're helping. Well now it doesn't really feel now it feels the same as as holding a bin of sand, but Let's see here. Oh. So we've used eco mode and hyper mode and transparent mode, but there's actually a fourth mode on here called fitness mode. And this does the exact opposite of what you would expect and want an exoskeleton to do most of the time. It makes things harder so that you can work out and have some resistance. I'm already feeling it and I feel like it's already, it's, it's betrayed me. Before it helped and now it's, it's stopping me. I'm at 25% power, but just because I'm not gonna use this for very long or I'll die, I'm gonna move it to 100% power. Oh man, <laughs> I feel like I'm, okay, that's really interesting. I feel like I'm wading through water. Like there's heavy resistance right now, or not, maybe not water, but like mud. <sighs> if you wanna make people excited online, with your thick thighs, then this is the way to do it. Uh, oh, 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 hey, hey guys. 
This is, yeah, this would, this would definitely, you know, it's not gonna help with uh, many other muscle groups, I feel like, but with, with for your thighs, yeah, big time. I'll say as well, uh, some people have said that there's a greater force on the top of your thigh than there is on the back of your thigh. For both, like when it's both helping you and hindering you on purpose in fitness mode. Like there's greater resistance when I lift my leg up than when I put it down. It's a lot easier to go back than it is to go forward. So anyways, I'm gonna turn that off. But that option is there if you're serious about getting thick. And I forgot to mention the app has some stats for you to check out. Uh, there's the battery percentage you can check on. The 5.7 miles is the range that's left with this battery charge. Uh, it showed my speed, which is why I was just testing it right there. And then down here we got your steps, the number of steps. And elevation gain, which I think was when I jumped that high. Exoskeleton helped a lot there. Uh, oh, and it's got a graph showing you like a how you've used the battery over time. So that's all there. Pretty cool. Okay, so I've been wearing this thing for about two hours uh, so far, and uh, according to the app, we've gone down in battery by about 20%. Now, I wasn't running the entire time, thank God, but if I was, uh, Hypershell says that I could cover 17 and a half kilometers uh, on a single battery. They really believe in me. But if I had completely lost it and I just wanted to keep running, uh, the motor is rated for up to 2,000 kilometers of constant use if I have 115 batteries that uh, I can swap out constantly while running, you know? Don't get, don't get ideas in your head. All right, I've had a lot of fun moving around in this thing today, but I'm not exactly what you'd call the target market here. Uh, Hypershell is one of the leaders in this power suit industry, and they apparently have 10,000 active users, all of whom probably have at least two Patagonia jackets, so take their word for it. So these things start at $7.99. The model we have here, the Pro X, is $9.99. And if you're interested, if you own a couple Patagonia jackets yourself, the link is in the description. Check it out. And thanks again to Hypershell for sponsoring this video. I have work to do at the other building, so I'm just gonna just do a powered run back. Okay, see you later, okay? Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to Short Circuit. <laughs> and <t> <laughs> Okay, bye.